So right now behind the, the wall, um, there's kind of a, there's a big wall in the center of the map that separates the two areas. We just basically call the beach and the base. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm kind of at the back of the base and this is where the defending team starts and they kind of set up their defense. Unfortunately in the game we're playing right now, since it's shotgun snipers, you're not actually seeing where any of the, uh, the actual weapon spawns are because the only weapons on the map are shotguns and sniper rifles. This guy just deployed a bubble shield on me. And there we go. This guy's got a turret. So notice how the camera goes into third person. This is our new support weapons that I was just mentioning earlier. Let's see if I can take this guy out. There we go. Jump back up here, trying to get into a better position. So some of the things you're not you're not seeing in this map right now are are the new uh, brute weapons like um, the Spiker, which is a handheld dual wieldable pistol. You are seeing things like like these, the spike grenades, which is also new to the brute sandbox. These are uh, basically shape charge grenades, so they'll stick to anything, unlike plasma grenades which can can only stick to you know humans and vehicles these will actually stick to walls and then they'll send out a shower of spikes hopefully you know eviscerating the guy you're going against so if you're playing in a, an objective type game this is actually the gate switch control you'll notice the gate is open right now but in a game of CTF or uh, territories this would actually be closed and, and part of the, the thing that the uh, attacking team would have to do is to get around the gate and actually hit that switch. Once the switch is, is hit, the gate's open, it's actually a, a much faster path. Now, it doesn't make your job any easier taking the flag back, but it does, it does give you a more direct route. There we go, game over. So that was uh, Halo 3 coming out this fall on Xbox 360.